Hi everyone, Patricia Warby, Alchemy Therapies here, and a short video today on grief and grieving, which is very apt for me because I've just lost my mother and it happened just under a week ago and it's still very raw, but anyone who knows me knows that I, I do my best to walk my talk. And so I'm spending time just allowing my emotions to rise and fall, which they're certainly doing. The day afterwards, I felt like I'd been run over, literally like someone had really hurt me in, in the gut. I felt so raw and tender there. Um, so it goes up and down. But I thought it was a, a good moment perhaps to share with you some, some words, not of mine actually, but of a, a person I really value. And this is a woman by the name of Toko Pa Turner. And these are her words. I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge something so many of us are going through, yet we rarely speak about it in the open, grief. Grief is the response to a broken bond of belonging, whether through the loss of a loved one, a way of life, or a cherished community. Grief is the reaction to being torn from what you love. You can only grieve what you have dearly loved. We grieve the loves we've lost. We grieve our abilities vanishing through illness or age. We grieve the loss of faith in our religion. We grieve our children leaving home. We grieve the paths we didn't walk. We grieve the family we never had. We grieve the suffering of the planet. But while grief may look like an expression of pain that serves no purpose, it is actually the soul's acknowledgement of what we value. Grief is the honour we pay to that which is dear to us. And it is only through the connection to what we cherish that we can know how to move forward. In this way, grief is motion. Yet in our culture, we are deeply unskilled with grief. We hold it at a distance as best we can, both in ourselves and in each other. Treating it, as Joanna Macy says, like an enemy of cheerfulness. There is unspoken shame associated with grief. It is sanctioned in very few places, in small doses, for exceptional occasions such as death and tragedy. Beyond that, it can feel dangerous and weak. Perhaps because we fear we'll drown in our despair or because it means falling apart in a world which values holding it together above all else. But grief plays an essential role in our coming undone from previous attachments. It is the necessary current we need to carry us into our next becoming. And that's just a short excerpt from her book, Belonging, which is a fantastic book. And I just wanted to read that really because often people don't acknowledge their grief and grief comes in many different forms and everybody grieves in a different way. And there are stages to grief as Elizabeth Kubler-Ross discovered uh, through denial and anger, through to acceptance. But I have to say, it is a necessary thing to go through. And as part of my work, when I work with people, I always say emotions are there to be processed. They are energy in motion, emotion. And thus, in order to come through them, you have to allow them. And that's what I'm doing. But it isn't easy. It is simple, but it, it certainly isn't easy. And it does require support, help from those who love you. And luckily, I have that as well. But if any of you out there are suffering grief for whatever reason, and you want to reach out and get in touch, please do. My contact details are below. And in the meantime, 
I'm just saying goodbye. Goodbye to my mum and wishing her peace and rest.